everyone, welcome to another episode of Making Food with Kathleen. Today I'm going to show you how I make homemade pizza. It actually requires a little bit of prep beforehand in the description of the video. I've added which recipe I follow for the pizza dough. I had made this pizza dough, kneaded it by hand, I didn't need a mixer, about a week ago. And this is basically the prime state for the pizza crust. So I'll be using that today. But as I mentioned, it does take a little bit of preparation to get this ready. Uh, before you want to use it. The rest of the pizza prep is super easy. I just want to show you how easy it is and how delicious it is. So it's super low effort in terms of getting everything together, but very high reward. After I started making homemade pizzas, I basically never wanted to go back to ordering pizza from restaurants because it's just so easy to make and you can customize and put as much or as little of the ingredients that you want on there. So with that, I'm gonna get started. I kind of like a lot of different things on my pizza, but I also base it off of what I have left in my fridge. So for this one, I'm going to add some broccoli, red onions. It feels so good to use everything up that is just in your fridge that you want to just plop on top of the pizza. I also want to add some pineapple, mushroom, gourmet pepperoni from Trader Joe's, and I might just add whatever's in here. There's some uh, mixed meats some tomato and then mozzarella cheese. My base is this tomato basil marinara. This is my absolute favorite marinara that I've consumed so far. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop the stuff that I want. I realized while I was cutting that I forgot to do the first step of making homemade pizza, which is to set my oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Start. Look how colorful everything looks. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Spreading out the dough and then putting all the ingredients on top. Now I'm going to sprinkle some flour on the foil so the pizza dough doesn't get stuck on there. Look how bubbly it is. Let gravity do its job. is to put my sauce on top. Make sure to get all the edges too. The edges need a lot of love. Now the fun part, which is putting all of my ingredients on top. the cheese. I love my cheese, even though I'm lactose intolerant. It's now ready to go into the oven. I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. All right. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that! Do you see this beautiful homemade pizza? The little bubbles on top, the cheese. Oh, it's hot. Look how cheesy it is though. Ooh! Amazing. <laughs> Ready to eat! You guys enjoyed following along as I created my homemade pizza. As I mentioned, the dough requires a little bit of preparation in the beginning. Other than that, the rest of the recipe is super easy to follow and you can add whatever you want. So I'm gonna enjoy all of this now for myself and maybe some other person. Okay, bye!